What's up you guys, it's Lloyd here with The Single Guy. And I would say probably the most common question I get is from a guy who's having something going on with some girl and he's wondering, Lloyd, I'm having issues with this girl, what should I do? <laughs> and I would say 99% of the time, my answer is move on and go after other girls that aren't going to be giving you this many problems. Learn to walk away. <laughs> this is such a common issue and such an important thing for guys to get through their heads. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, why it's so important to have the ability to walk away, when to walk away from a girl, and how to do it. And I'm also gonna give you examples of when I've done it right and when I've done it wrong. So, let's get right into it. Okay, the ability to walk away from a girl is so important. It's so important, in fact, that not only is it the most important tool you have as a man, it's if you don't have the ability to walk away from a girl, she's never going to want to have sex with you. It sounds kind of counterintuitive, but it's the truth. And women don't want to be with a guy who needs them. Women don't want to be with a guy where she feels like, oh, he's, I'm the best that he could possibly get, okay? He's settling for me, couldn't get anyone better, so he's trying to have sex with me or trying to date me. That doesn't make her feel good. That doesn't make her feel important or sexy. So if you're a guy who wants to be successful with women, you have to have the ability to walk away from them. You see, women are looking for a guy who has options, a guy who has all of these different girls that he could get with, but chooses her, chooses to spend time with her. That's going to make her feel good. That's going to make her feel like, wow, I'm with a really high value guy right now. Okay, so to be that guy, you have to have rules, you have to have things or guidelines or a code of conduct that you go by and things that you won't tolerate. So when is it appropriate to walk away? Well, you know when to walk away when she, she won't meet up with you. Okay, try and get her to meet up with you in person. And if she won't meet up with you, you got to move on. Okay, if you try to meet up with this girl twice, she's canceled on you, flaked on you, or maybe, you know, she, oh, I can't do it, blah, blah, blah move on, go after other girls. The only time I would entertain the third option is when she's really like picking up the, the, you know, some of the work here where she's like saying, Hey, you know, I'm sorry. I couldn't hang out with you those two times. How about we do this? Like, I'd really love to hang out with you then. Then maybe cause she's putting in a lot of effort. Um, and she, maybe she had, you know, a couple good excuses the first two times. It might be okay to meet up with her a third time. However, even in those circumstances, they rarely work out for me in the end too, because usually what made her not want to hang out with you or not able to hang out with you the first two times um, is going to come up again. Okay, so try and hang out with her twice, and if she's not hanging out with you, move on. Also, too, if you're messaging her and trying to get her out and she's giving you a lot of responses like, oh, I'll let you know, or let's keep in touch, if she's giving you a lot of those, it might be time to find something better, okay? She, if she makes you a priority, then she's going to hang out with you. If she really desires you and wants to sleep with you, She's going to find a way to do it, but if she's kind of like a maybe or I don't know, like that sounds pretty cool, it could work out, it might not, then you have to decide if you're down for that. You can turn a maybe into a yes a lot of times, but you can't do it if she won't meet up with you or if she's being too difficult. So it's a judgment call at that point, and normally I would say it's better to move on. Now, I have pursued women for long periods of time and been successful but it was only because they didn't do these sorts of things, okay? This all comes down to respect. If a girl is being disrespectful to you, then she's not being respectful to you, your time, or who you are as a man, you gotta move on. And you're gonna learn kind of more what that looks like as you go out more and more, as you start talking to women. Um, but I'll give you an example of a time that it happened to me where I was kind of coming up and um, you know, I guess it was probably midway through my development so at the time, I was dating this uh, model girl who was super hot. I was really excited to be dating her. Um, and we were messaging back and forth. And I texted her. She texted me back really quickly. And I figured it'd probably be easier just to have a phone call. So I picked up the phone, called her. And she didn't pick up. So I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. I know she's right by her phone. So I messaged her. I was like, hey, what's up? And she goes, oh, I don't, I don't want to talk right now. Um, or actually, she, did, she said, I don't feel like talking right now. And so I thought, huh, maybe something's wrong with her. Like, she's sad or something like that. She's upset. So I asked if she was okay, and she said, yeah, fine. So at that point, I knew um, that she just didn't want to talk to me because she didn't feel like it. She really didn't feel like it. And if she had made me a priority, do you really think that would be the answer that she was going to give me? Probably not. And even as an intermediate guy, I knew this was kind of true. So I figured that, you know what, it's probably best that... 
Um, I go, don't talk to her and move on and go after her and talk to other girls. And that's exactly what I did. Um, and that was the right move at that point, because even if there's a little bit of disrespect, you got to sniff that out and realize that people aren't going to change as quickly as you want them to. So after that, I really stopped making so much of an effort to hang out with her. And the ironic part about this is that she actually started messaging me more. So she started messaging me more, and it sounded like she was more interested in something. Oh, great, like, you know, she actually wants to hang out. So <laughs> being the young guy that I was, uh, I hung out with her again. And unfortunately, the exact same things that led me to believe that she didn't, that I wasn't a priority for, she started doing again. I started kind of talking to other people. She wasn't you know, placing enough importance on me and stuff like that. And it was clear that, yeah, sure, I could have sex with this girl again, or I could see her for a little bit longer, but I was going to have to, like, it was going to take a lot of work to get her out, and on top of that, I was never going to be her priority. And so for me, because I liked her a lot, I thought that this was not going to work out, and it was best to just cut it off, okay? And... Even though I knew at that beginning point um, that it was probably a bad idea to get back in, I still did it. And that's what, what a lot of times this is going to happen with you guys where you walk away from a girl and now she wants you more. And so you think, oh, well, that, that's, the, that's the tactic. That's all I needed to do is just walk away from her and get her back. Well, you got her back temporarily because what she's thinking, she's thinking that, oh, you know, like this guy, I, I lost him. You know, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? And then they want you back because they... You know, they, they feel like they lost something. Well, that doesn't change their feelings. That doesn't change the way they, who they are as a person. So if she's the type of girl that's going to flake on you a lot and just because you walk away from her, then now she wants you back and then she sees you again, she's probably still going to be that flake. People don't change as much as you think they're going to. They change slowly over time, but not as much as you think. And on top of that, it's not your job to change people. Okay, Never try and change a girl once you're with her. Accept her for who she is or move on. A lot of times it's easy to get caught up in the messages. And when people are asking me these questions, I can tell what's going on underneath. They want to know that the girl likes them. They want to know that the girl is interested in them. And a lot of times it doesn't matter if the girl's interested in you, okay? It doesn't matter. If she's sending you mixed signals, that's the message. Sometimes she wants to talk to you. Sometimes she doesn't. You're a maybe kind of guy. And if you're cool with being a maybe kind of guy, like you maybe just want to hook up with her occasionally, fine, cool, go for it, dude. I've been a maybe guy <laughs> in my life. But if you don't want that, they need to move on and find someone who's not going to give you that. It doesn't, whether she's into you or not, it matters if it's a good fit for you in your life. And that's how a high value guy thinks. And that's what I want from you guys to have that high value mentality and realize that you are worth something and somebody should recognize that worth. And if people aren't going to recognize that worth from you, move on and find someone who will. So when you're at that point where the girl's wanting you back, I would resist. Resist. Don't get back together with her. Um, and on top of that, I would delete her off your social media. Stop following her, following her on Instagram. Stop following her on Facebook. I would even delete the text messages that you have if you really feel like that's something that you look at a lot. Because if you say, oh, I'm going to walk away from this girl. I'm not going to talk to her again. But you're still liking her Instagram posts. You haven't moved on. You're going to want to. You're going to start thinking about her again. You're going to start wanting to message her again. So move on. Protect yourself. Make sure that you're not going into those bad habits. And on top of that, dude, you should be having a good environment. A good environment is an environment where you're not in scarcity, where you're not dependent upon this one girl. I always recommend to my students that they should be talking to at least like five girls at a time. You know, you don't have to be sleeping with all of these girls. That's way too many girls to be sleeping with at one time. Although, <laughs> you know, I have done that. Um, but you need to have options. That way, if one girl ditches you, if one girl is like, you know, flaking on you or ghosting you, it's not that much of a big deal. It's not the end of the world. You still have other options there. Now, obviously, once you find a girl that you really like and you start dating her, then obviously put your energy into her. But if you're single, you don't have anything committed going on, you should have your options open. If you put all of your eggs in one basket, that's a bad strategy for you. That's a bad strategy for life, not just for women in general. Okay, it's the 21st century, dude. If you think you're the only guy that's talking to this girl, you're sorely mistaken, okay? <laughs> Women these days have a lot of options, and so should you. And if you don't have options, and you should be doing this anyway, have something more important than one girl to do, okay? Whoever, whatever girls you're talking to, have something more important to do than her. And if you don't have anything important, like let's say you're like in your early 20s or something like that, you're not on your purpose, you're not, you're, you haven't found your passion yet, well, then make sure, make your passion being 
you improving, okay? Make yourself better for women in general. Don't make yourself good for just one girl, okay? Keep your options open and improve yourself, okay? That's what I was doing when I was younger, and I think that really helped me a lot. With instead, for st- if before I would start to focus on each individual person, but as soon as I started to focus on women as a whole and me, myself, improving me, that's when I started to have a lot more results. So that's what I invite you guys to do. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one mentoring program, um, send me your name, your age, where you're from, uh, like the city you're close to, uh, what your experience with women is, and what your occupation is. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.